Hey guys, welcome to the second example on earthquake loading. Uh, we're going to be doing a very similar process to the first example. We're going to find EDC, the earthquake design category. The seismic weight, we're going to calculate the base shear. We're going to use the equivalent static force method to calculate the design earthquake static force at each level. And then we're going to calculate the overturning moment. So this structure is the exact same structure which we used for the second wind load case example. So you might have done that example in this series and you would recognize this structure. So the dead load at each of these floors is given as 500 kilonewtons. The dead load at each, sorry, the live load at each of these floors is given as 400 kilonewtons. And similarly, that floor and that floor has a dead load of 1200 and 1000. The building is located in Melbourne. We're told that it's shallow soil. We're told that it's an intermediate concrete moment resisting frame. The importance level is two. The annual probability of exceedance is one in 500 and it's a non-storage building. So it's, as a plan, it's 20 meters by 20 meters. This tower is, sorry, it's 60 meters by 60 meters, this bottom section. And the tower is 20 meters by 20 meters in its footprint. Okay, each floor is four meters high in this lower part and in the tower each floor is three meters high. So just in this video, we're gonna be finding the earthquake design category. So step one is finding KP, the probability factor. Now we've been told that the annual probability of exceedance is one in 500. So we go to t uh, table 3.1 and we have probability factor KP, probability exceedance, one in 500 corresponds to a KP value of 1.0, okay? So KP is 1.0 from table 3.1 on page 18. We can then find Z, the hazard factor. So the building is built in Melbourne. And we can find from page 19.